seeing how this base is lined, that is such a good choke point. We need to do our choke point like that. Oh my good lord. Victory, defeat, 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 defeat. Was I just totally raffle stomped? Or was the enemy, or is this their progress? Like, if they hot they fought hard and didn't do very well. Now, are these my rewards or their rewards? This is this is something we've got to, you know, ascertain. All right, so we're gonna watch a one star and see how they did it. Downloading the replay. Oh my God, he's got crazy stuff. You know what? Let's just see. The duration is two minutes fifty four seconds. What about this one? What do we got here? Four minutes and fifty one seconds. Three bombing runs. People have been going at. If it takes them four minutes, that's excellent. Two minutes, 34 seconds, he's got those RPG guys. He's got sergeants out here. They looks like they got Glock 9 millimeters. What else do we got? Oh my God, snipers, medics, rocketeers, grenade launchers with TV sets on their faces? A minute 40. Ooh, this, this is just getting wrecked, isn't it? Let's see it. Let's see how our base held up because we're gonna be making a few slight adjustments to our base after reading over your comments and kind of getting a better feel for what we got to do. Look at that. He came in with like 4,000 munitions. He's got an incredible amount of munitions. He's not even going grunt heavies. He's going assaults. Is he even going to use grunts? He's not using grunts. This is a totally new strategy. I mean, oh, missiles being launched at... Oh, how did... I guess missile strikes aren't affected by any aircraft guns. That would make sense, though. Man, those guys got absolutely dominated. Another missile strike. Okay. And then he uses the decoy. Fair enough, friend. Fair enough. The sniper's still alive. But you can see we're about 50% completed. These guys are going to be rolling in. He took out our veterans here. And then there's a napalm strike. Burns up all of my grunts. The AA gun wasn't even used. Now, we did get some ideas on where to position this AA gun for the future. But man, a supply drop? What do you mean a supply drop? Oh, he just got one and it's another missile. Jeez. But look at that, the walls did their purpose. Now, one of the things we were advised on here, we'll get into that in just a second, because we will be upgrading and we will be doing attacks. This this will be a little bit of both. That bunker's relatively weak. This guy just rolled in with really powerful men. Look, no grunts at all. He came in with a lot of munitions, and like, I dare say, we just got raffle stumps, truly. So that was a pretty impressive attack, but that was probably a high tiered guy. Now, we didn't get any badges, okay. So I think what's been happening is our performance, our base hasn't been the best. But one of the issues that we've been going up against is like, not having enough munitions here. We've only got 40,000 to upgrade this base, right? So let's go do a few attacks. And the Alliance battles are gonna open up in three days and three hours. Baron's Brigade, where are you at now? CPU defend, my personal best was in seven minutes and 46 seconds. This is wrong. There's no way we got that, did we? All right, so for this upcoming battle here, we're fighting some of the Red Skulls. So these are on the more challenging side. We've got our riot soldiers, we've got our rocketeers. I'm gonna go with some like defensive and then some heavy attack. And since missiles don't get shot down by AA guns, I'm gonna use them to kind of focus on some of the hard points here, the static defenses. The static defenses that we're gonna wanna deal with, right? All right, Toasty McToast versus Surgical Glitter. Now is that? All right, oh my God, we've got three missiles. Missile barrage. All right, let's get the big boys out. And then we've got a lot of resources still left. Let's go with one more set of grunts. And that should allow us to get these guys out here. Now everybody's out on the field. We've got a medic hanging out. We've got a few soldiers. Our guys should be able to deal with them no problem. I'm trying to get a better view of the enemy base. Here come our soldiers. RPG just taking out those guys no problem. These assault guys got to get in close. They've got relatively short range. Come on, boys. Take them out. Boom! I love those grenades, man. Those are great. Oh, this medic is dropping people. Douche! Direct hit. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at this. We're going to... What? How come... My missiles get shot down? That's unfortunate. 
Oh, good. We took that out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is use these grunts to take out this mortar. But we're going to wait for the right moment so there's a little bit more. Um, oh my god, we've lost a fair amount of soldiers. All right, grenade launcher metal. We've taken down most of the enemy defenses at this point. We've got 21 out of 22. We could call a rally flag. I guess we should have called a rally flag because my big boys are out here. But look at that. He's taking some machine gun to the face. The bunker's opening up. The SWAT guys are able to deal with most of the damage. Now we just got to take out this bunker. We do have two RPGs, so it, it shouldn't stay up for very much longer. I don't think we're going to need to buy any more guys. And here comes the grunts to finish off. Look at that. I, I, I missed that focus fire somehow. So now we might as well just use it. And look at that. If we waited a little bit longer, we would have got a carpet bomb, but we didn't need it. Dude, RPGs and SWAT guys. This is a dynamic duo right here. Okay, so now that we've got our first attack out of the way, we're going to do a little bit of building, and I'm going to be addressing some of the, your advice that you guys left in the last video, Baron's Brigade, and I do appreciate it. We got some fire bombs. We got a resource crate, which I don't have enough keys to do that. Open. Oh, I guess I could... I'm going to do this. I want 100,000 munition. Somehow space the fact that you can open it using gold. Because I was looking to see if I could buy keys. But you get keys over time. Look, we got bent Brodies! Oh my god, this is like the World War One British style helmet. I'm gonna use that on my grunts because I love my grunts. Like Grunts in just mass infantry, we're like Mother Russia here, you know? We will send waves of infantry at the enemy. All right, let's customize these guys. There it is. Look at this, yes. We've got the Brody helmets. Oh, they're so glorious. I love them, I love them. What is this? I don't want them without hats. And we got all three new hats, that was kind of cool. Now, should we change up our helmets? Our helmet color, do we have any cool, any really, really cool colors? I kind of want to make them British, like maybe for the next one. So we're gonna apply those changes. You can see, I need to upgrade their health. That would be incredibly good. Let's see if we can't edit their perks. So we've got damage up, we've got minimum wage upgraded, and then these guys rarity. New body armor absorbs 40% so they can survive longer. Fast reload, I don't think I need any of that stuff just yet. All right, let's go to the building here. Look at this, we've got two RPGs and looks like two grunts. Okay, so one of the ideas was to move the mortar a little bit backwards. So we're gonna move this guy I hate when it gets so... You know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna stash him real quick. We're gonna move this guy. This is the key. Maybe, like, right here would be good. And then I need to move... Let's go ahead and turn the tent so it faces the right way, right? Now, I'm gonna be spending, I think, not the next episode, but maybe the one after that. I'm gonna do, like, a huge... Alright, so let's... Wow, that that's much better. Okay, and someone was saying put a wall section here so that they can't just shoot through it. They have to go around it, and then we get to kind of pin them down that way. Put the bunker. We'll move these sandbags up a little bit. Oh, yeah, and another thing was to move the anti-aircraft gun. So we're going to go ahead and stash this, move the bunker up, and then we'll put the AA gun right behind it. So let's go to the build inventory. I'm going to place my level 7, and then that should protect this whole area here. Seems like it's limited in, in what it can protect. Now, if I upgrade it... What does it do? The range is just barely increased. So we're gonna leave that. And I think we need to upgrade some of our like, our actual defenses because level six seems relatively weak. Let's go with, see if we can't get to level 10 without blowing through our munitions. Oh, and we do have a lot more build points available. We need a lot more munitions. We need to do some serious battles here. And these level sniper towers are only level five. So we've got three sniper towers. I could put in, I need to put in another, oh, that's why it's so high. All right, I think I should be able to get, squeeze him in here. Yes. Oh, that's great. If I put my tents down here, then I could put the mortar up there. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. We're going to move both tents down here. That's going to be tight. Is there a sweet spot? There is not. All right, I just decided to move the mortar down here. Let's see, do we have anything else that we can place? We could put a few more sandbags. I really want more barbed wire is what I really want. So let's just place a nice little bit of sandbags like right here in the middle. And then with those three little bit of sandbags, I think this should help. Oh, we do need one more wall section. 
All right, we're gonna move this one. And we're gonna move it like right here was the idea, right? So then that way they can't shoot through the barbed wire. They kind of have to move around it. Let's see if that works. Now, I know there, someone was saying that there's a way to test this, right? So let's go ahead and test the base. And testing the base is apparently, oh my God, we can, we can use whatever we want. Now, if I test this, does this use this? I can attack my own base? I'm gonna attack my own base. But I don't wanna use any of my good stuff. So let's see, what do we have? Fire bombs seem to be something they would use. Bombing run. And then we'll go with a rally flag. Yeah, I don't really want to use my guys against my own base, but I guess this is kind of funny. I've never attacked my own base. Te I thought testing base would just like give you kind of procedurally generated or relatively common loadout the, en the enemy might use. Okay. So, well, let's use these grunties, babies. Not enough munitions. Wow, we're out of munitions already. Oh, look at all my grunts. Go forth, brave soldiers. We it's a civil war. Now, what I would do, would I do a decoy? No, I think my guys can deal with that relatively no problem because we're using grenades. Now, I would do what? I would use the missile strike on these guys, like that one guy did, which was very, very good. Boom! Look at that. That's deadly. I think I should use small sandbags so not everybody's behind the same sandbag. All right, they're going through and they're getting stuck. Call in more grunts. Now, let's see. I would use the decoy on the AA gun. Doesn't seem like it's... There we go. Because I wanted to get... I would call in a firebomb. Wait. Firebomb. And then when that is... I would call in that. Oh my god, there are so many freaking grunts right here. Man, can I not even attack my own base very well? That's funny. I mean, that's good. Yeah, so that wall is really, really good. The bunker did finally go down. The mortar's actually getting some hits, and look at this. This infantry's doing very, very well. Okay. Well, we've got four minutes left. I think we could keep pushing it. But that those little things were already... Those minute changes were incredibly, incredibly good and effective. And allowed me... To, dude, I love that. So, basically, Omega was saying that we want to pull the anti-air turret back and put it behind bunker number one. Um, and Andre was saying put a wall right in front of the barbed wire, which we did. And then adjust the mortar position, which we did, to have a better killing field. And move the tent. And we did all of that. So, let's see. We've got some new inventory here. Let's open this car common card pack. I want to show you something, right? Oh, hello. Good, 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 good. All all relatively good. Now, look at this. When we go to the depot here, and we do this card packs, look at this. This is interesting. Where is it? The Halloween card pack is 666 gold. And you get six random cards, one guaranteed Halloween-themed item, and one bonus alliance battle. Oh, that would be good for... That would be good for me and Baron's Brigade once the uh, season opens up. So, do you want me to buy the Halloween card pack? That is the question. All right, we've got a daily ration. This is nice. Ooh, and it's got a random card pack. Oh, an attack card pack. I do want to open that up, so let's go back to that. Attack card pack. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. I'm hoping... Missiles and unit health. I really love the munitions and the unit cap upgrades. Those are a lot of fun. Tactical boots. There's a lot of stuff, though. So, let's go to war once more. Oh, this is cool. The enemy's gonna be using engineers. So, let's see. I'm gonna use paratroopers. Should I just do massive paratrooper drop? I do want another munitions. And you know what? Let's do, let's do some more paratroopers. We haven't used them in a while. And we've got our big boys here because then that gets us more infantry at a relatively cheap cost. Man. But, like, our big boys are just so expensive. Did I just pwn you? Team Dab? Oh, we got Team Dab up in here. All right, let's see what we got. So I've got $2,400. There goes $900. we have got 1000 left. We'll do a lot of grunties here. Just a lot of grunts. And then we got to wait. we got 800 left. I think I'm going to go with a SWAT and a grenade and keep the rest. I could do a medic, but... Oh my god, so they're sending out these guys. Wow, this is pretty well defended. 
A lot of sandbags. So they, he's just got some regular uh, assault dudes out there. The grenades are doing a pretty good job at suppressing them. Let's get another grenade launcher out there. I'm going to call in a decoy. Hopefully there's going to be a lot of... They're turning around. Look at this choke point. It's making my guys walk through here. We've taken out the wall. Oh, man. All right, call in the paras behind the enemy lines here. We've lost a decent amount of soldiers. Here come the paratroopers. Oh, it did. It, luckily, they didn't get shot down. Oh, man, this is... This is... These paratroopers are doing a pretty good job here. We're at 19 out of 22. Grab all the munitions. That gives us a lot of money. Once we... We need to take out this bunker. The paratroopers are down. And right here, yeah. This is just the main area of defense. We should be able to take this down. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. And I can use focus fire. I might need to start using that in the future. I think we're actually pretty good. I don't even think I need to buy any more soldiers, really. So I'm just going to start massing, like, uh, start collecting all of the... Oh, that mortar could do some work. It's kind of inaccurate. That one just took out two of my guys. These guys are walking through the fire. Ooh, lots of soldiers. Lots of soldiers here. Boom! The grenades, the rockets. How many boys do we got on the field? I guess I'll, I'll send in two more squads of grunts. Eh, maybe just one. <laughs> Those grenades just knock them out right away. We do have focus fire, so let's do a focus fire here. The mortar, we're, oh, 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 the, the, my truck could take mortar fire. Oh, I missed that munitions crate because we were checking out that. All right, so mission achiever. Dude, that's what's up, dude. We just pwned you, team dab. 12,000 munitions, almost to level 14. Let's get to level 14. We got two keys and some paratroopers. You know, I just had an idea. I've got a really, I think I've got a pretty cool idea, guys. So when I do these player versus player challenges, I want, whoop, I wanted to see the intel real quick. He's got, yeah, this should, and he's only got grunts. Max total of 4,000. No, I want, I want, I want all the munitions possible. I want you to give me combinations of things to try. Look at this. Now, big head mode obviously isn't that cool. I mean, in terms of like, a, it's cool looking. Tight formation. Do we want to do unit health? Ooh, unit cap plus eight. Good lord. I don't think I'm. Gonna, I'm gonna save this one. This is a rare one. Berserk. Your units go berserk. Boost their movement, health, and strike fear in the enemy as they get up close and personal. Let's do that. I've never used a berserker before. Uh, we're gonna go with decoys. Now that I can use decoys better, and let's get the. Ooh. I'm definitely gonna upgrade that. That'll give us a thousand since if you have three of the same kind, right? Ooh, and we can upgrade that one again. And we're gonna use one of these. Perfect. All right, so this is what we got. We're using berserkers here. So let's move out. We've got the extra thousand. Should allow us to put more big bad boys in the field. And we are almost to the next level. That is the goal for this battle right here. We. Ooh, and I, I love tear gas. We got a thousand dollars left. We gotta make this go. So I'm gonna get one of the shield guys. And there we go. That should be pretty good. Oh my god, look at this. Where's the A gun? I did I did that to stall them and then called in a carpet bomb, because if we could take out all that. Uh eh, it wasn't as near as many men as we wanted. That fiery can exploded on us. Let's get... We're gonna want more grenade launchers here. Alright, let's get a decoy on this bunker. Ooh, and another tear gas. That's excellent. And if we do that, then the bunker can't shoot either. Let's get more grunts out there. Dude, we are taking some serious casualties here. This choke point is very, very good. Come on, kill the freaking bunker. I pulled in a decoy. These guys are not even bothered by it. Oh, look at this. Okay, I see what's happening. We're low on money. Rally up, boys. Jeez, the mortar's freaking taking us out. We've got a guy stuck in the wall and he got shot in the back. What is he doing? Seeing how this base is aligned, that is such a good choke point. 
We need to do our choke point like that. Man, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work at all. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need a focus fire. All right, we're going to we're going to surrender. All right, we're attacking Diyoshi. The other guy's base was superior in every way. So what we're going to do is get out all of our boys here and then I think we'll just do one more set of grunts. Now, look at this. This is another very very good choke point in a really interesting bunker here. The A gun is very heavily upgraded. Now, they're going to be coming in here. If I had a focus fire, I could put my guys here and destroy the walls. Look at these bunkers. Look at that freaking mortar. Oh, he's dropping paratroopers. He's going to be dropping paratroopers on me? Oh, man. I, I hope that... That's a really cool power-up. All right, Colin... Oh my god, we're gonna need all the help we can get. Look at this. The paratroopers are attacking my jeep. Now, that that wasn't too bad. Oh my god. Are we losing men really fast? Once we take out... Ooh. Oh my... Like, look at how freaking big that is. No, we're at 14. Interesting. Alright, guys. Well, that was another episode of Guns Up. So let me know what we should do for the next one. How should we theme our guys? What kind of base arrangements should we use? Because I don't think this is working too well. I like the one where, like, they have it go in and there's only one way in. And then they, like, skew it. So, like, say the door's over here and then there's, like, three or four different things aiming at it. I think that might be what we might try for the next one. I know, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I need power-ups to deal with this. Look at these guys trying to... It's just a bunch of grunts and the mortars are taking us out for the most part. Is this... Wait. Once this thing goes down, we're back in business. Come on, take take the freaking thing out. Oh, here we go. Take the freaking AA gun out. We've got another one in case this one goes down. Oh, God. Where's all of our soldiers? There we go. Call in the carpet bomb. And while that's happening, everybody pull back. We will... Yes! That took out a lot of guys. Alright, we got a mega kill. There's still... And they just resupplied it. Let's get a medic out there. How are our boys doing? We got SWAT shields. Alright, there's the RPG guy. He's got to survive. But he's got freaking snipers. We're going to call in a grenadier guy. This is going to be tough. I'm hoping for a power-up. Oh, God. Sniper's already firing. RPGs, you... This... This doesn't seem like it's gonna go very well. The grenade launchers are somewhat effective. But everybody's pretty... Look at that. Seven people. Dude, we, we have just enough to call in two squads. How do you defeat a base that is this good? This guy was only three skulls. We've taken some serious defeats this time. I'm not going to bother with it. We've got a wave defense to deal with. We've got wave eight. We're going to defend our headquarters. Man, we've had some a string of successes and a string of defeats today. We've only got 60 guys. This should go pretty easily. We've got three landmines. We've got tear gas and we have a missile launcher. We've got plenty of grunts with our little doughboy hats. Come on, boys. Sending some grunts and some assault troopers with their SMGs and carbines here, it looks like. Come on, boys. Take them out. We've taken one casualty in our first skirmish. They've taken a, a, fair about, a fair about more. Let's go ahead and get rid of yourselves. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Landmine right here. They say it takes, what, three seconds to arm? Boom. Got them. Ooh, carpet bomb. We'll call that in now. Actually, should we wait? We could use a tear gas here to bunch him up. And then we'll call in the carpet bomb there. And that should get that whole group. Oh, we got a Rambo out here. Freaking Rambo's coming. Here you go. Here's a, here's a landmine for you, Rambo. What do you got? What do you got? You walked right by my landmine. Is he trained to do that? I don't know. You know what? You're gonna get a landmine. Boom! 
Oh man, I, he got knocked out. We got Waymate defeated. All right, nice job, nice job. We got a little bit of uh, munitions earned, but not a whole lot. But these waves, they always happen whenever you level up. So I think we're at what level? 15 16 no we're at 14 interesting all right guys well that was another episode of guns up so let me know what we should do for the next one how should we theme our guys what kind of base arrangements should we use because i don't think this is working too well i like the one where like they have it go in and there's only one way in and then they like skew it so like say the door's over here and then there's like three or four different things aiming at it. I think that might be what we might try for the next one. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.